Hey folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? It's a very uh, sort of a quiet morning because it's a Friday. So Friday is a weekend for Bangladesh usually and people, you cannot hear any rush outside. No, people are not going for work. They are sleeping nicely. You don't hear children's children crying they are not going to school so yes it's kind of peaceful and i like my fridays here so in usually like malaysia it was a saturday and sunday two days were weekend here it's uh, more on friday and then saturday like that so i decided to look at one uh, fragrance for my collection which is uh, not a very expensive fragrance and many people like not many quite a few people asked me they have seen it in my collection and they, they are like okay brother could you talk about this as you can see from title i'm going to be talking to you about the very uh, infamous or famous, however you say it, is grey flannel, all right? And it's a very old fragrance, but I really find it interesting. I really thought this is a fragrance worthy of collection, and I'll talk about it. And I have it on the paper for some time. Oh, yes. Okay, so I have it here on the paper, and I want to talk about it, right? So let me show you, uh, first of all, uh, the packaging it comes in. It doesn't come in in a box. It doesn't have a box it comes in a sort of like a pouch you know I don't know if you call it pouch or what it comes in like a yeah like a pouch like this I call it pouch so it says uh, Jeffrey Bean I think I'm saying it right hopefully I'm correct and at the back uh, the, this one has like a shoelaces kind of a thing up there so you can tie it you can pull it up and then you know it closes and it says the information here gray flannel ADT uh, yeah ADT and then it's uh, 120 mil four fluid ounces at the back it mentions the price it's about twenty dollars in Bangladesh it's around more or less roughly and uh, yeah that's pretty much your uh, what you get it's a uh, okay I mean not mind-blowing but it's a nice touch you know I like this pouch I use it to keep my you know points and stuff and the bottle here I really like this bottle okay as you can see it's a very simplistic sort of bottle it uh, says great and you can see read the uh, information at the bottom you get your batch code and sticker and some of it's engraved at the side what does it say i don't know it says the mp12 okay and then 5sa2 okay so that's pretty much what you need to know about this one is uh it's a reformulated one this used to be a uh, powerhouse back in the time and then it got reformulated somewhere down the years so this one actually first was released 1975 so i'm not talking about the 1975 i have a relatively newer bottle so it the cap it's like this it's very snug fit you can pick it up it, it, it stays pretty nicely so it's not a very heavy bottle you can pick it up it's not a special cap it's a nice cap and here is your long tall sprayer so it does spray it's very strong but i'm gonna spray it i'll show you sprayer okay you saw that okay so yeah it does spray and it sprays not a lot of juice and what this bottle really special for for me because this looks like a wine bottle red wine or white wine any bottle it looks like a sort of like a cool wine bottle from Australia, like a Shiraz or something. So I like that about it. It's like a red wine sort of a bottle. And I think there's a reason for the fragrance bottle to look like it. I'll tell you shortly. And uh, I like the bottle design. It's simplistic, but it's kind of vintage. Okay. So now let's uh, read some notes from Fragrantica. And let me tell you uh, what this fragrance uh, contains according to my notes and Fragrantica combined. So this is gray flannel uh, from the house of Jeffrey Bean. It was released at first on 19, 1975, but I think it got reformulated as I mentioned. And it, it's uh, classified in Fragrantica as Oriental Udi, but to my nose, it's it's more like a powerhouse slash floral, mossy green slash Udi spicy. That sort of a fragrance, it's just to my nose. Okay. And the perfume for this is Andre, Andre from Anthene. You know, my, my I'm not good with names, but yeah, that's I'll put the fragrantica link in the description. And the thing is, this fragrance has plenty of notes. I didn't take down the notes, I just want to tell you what I get from it. Okay, so the thing is, this fragrance, first thing in the community, it's it, it's very love it or hate it, it's a very polarizing scent. Many reviewers are scared of it. I've seen Mark. <laughs> I think he got this uh, Rob08 mark, he got this bottle a long time ago. He received this bottle from, or the fragrance rather from Al, Street Sense, and he's like, no, this is this is not for me, because he loves sweet fragrances, this he couldn't work with. So the thing is, yes, if Mark says it's it's challenging, it has to be challenging. And I didn't, I wanted to try it for some time because it's not very expensive, I saw it in Bangladesh, Starling Enterprise sold it, and I, I just immediately like, brother, I just need a bottle of it, so they provided me with. So it's 
first of all, the price is not that high and you get 120 ml juice, okay, good stuff. You get a nice sort of presentation. And uh, this fragrance actually, uh, let me tell you, Fragrantic also has equal number of likes, love and hate. So it, it's somewhere in the middle of the road. Those who love it, they love it. Those who hate it, they really hate it. There's no such thing as, well, like gray flannel. You, you know, <laughs> it's not like, I like it, you know. You either like it or you love it or hate it, okay. So it opens up. How does it open up, okay? I have the dry down on one paper. Let me show you the opening on another paper, okay. Let's go two sprays. So this stuff, it to my nose, it opens very bright. It opens up very, very strong. When I say powerhouse, trust me, it is sort of like a powerhouse sort of opening. It's very strong. It's very green, very mossy. And it has touch of uh, citrus somewhere there. It, it, it's like a green citrus. So it's a bitter, uh, not, it's like, you know, it's a bitter citrus. That's how it opens. It's a bit of green, herbal, bitter citrus. So it's not like a very pleasant grapefruit, that sort of opening. So if you're looking for that, it's, you're going to be like, oh, no, okay, this is not the opening. Many people will be run away, running away from this opening because it's very scary opening. The thing is, best thing about this fragrance is, is the dry down that is the magic. So if you're patient enough, you know, like, and the fragrance that comes to my mind, it's not the same exactly, but it has its differences. Zino Davidoff. It's another gem of a fragrance. I'll talk about it in some other review. But, you know, many people say Zeno's opening is very, very harsh. But once they let it dry down, they see it's damn nice, okay? So this fragrance, the season for it, first of all, it's cold weather. I think this one will be really good cold weather scent because it has that nature. It's sort of, it has a fujar side as well, like, a, because it has that uh, note of lavender somewhere. It's a very floral, woody, heavy fragrance, okay? And I try to detect if does it, does it have the leather? Sometimes to my nose, it feels like a very strong masculine, like a, let's say, Azaropuram or a, something of that leather, that sort of nature. But there's not enlisted. Then it has, a, what else? It has some iris note to it. And it's not Diorum intense iris. So all those people who are thinking how to relate it to the modern day, you can't. <laughs> this is not a modern day fragrance. It's a very old school classic. So the age for it, I think it would be really, really great for people who have uh, the age limit would be like 25 and up, 30 and up. Yeah, your dads, your uncles, you know, that, that old man vibe is in it. Okay, so it's not a very good crowd pleaser scent to my nose. To my, this 36 year old nose, I don't think it's a crowd pleaser, but back in the time, people treasured this. They loved the masculinity. Now, let's talk about the dry down a little bit. Yeah, the dry down becomes much softer and beautiful. It goes to the floral side and it will remind you of Lamal in a way because Lamal does have that, uh, I would say, uh, powdery effect, you know, that lavender. It's very ev evident in this. I, I would say lavender is a major player in this. Then the green mossiness will hit you. Like, it's sort of like a very uh, foresty feel to it. It's a very nice green sort of uh, floral mixed. So the after one hour or so, the, the citrus on a really wear off. And it's going to become a very, very nice, classy, elegant scent. It, it, you'll think of like 60s, 70s gangsters, not 70s, 60s gangsters, you know, like uh, one movie that comes to my mind is, uh, what movie was that? Robert De Niro was the Al Capone, Untouchables. Yes, that movie, if you remember all the gangsters, yeah, Al Capone would be wearing this. That's what I think of. It's very classy and it's very high class, sort of like a well-dressed gangster scent. Yes, I can say it. It's, it's, it's for people who really nicely dressed up back in the days, not this, you know, like modern day, whatever shit people are wearing. <laughs> like, you know, in the streets, you're wearing those loose, hey, yo, what's up, what's up. Yeah, those people are not going to find this very alluring. And the thing is, now I'm going to tell you why I think of the bottle design was like this. It does give me a feel of red wine. So if you do like drinking, if you do like those uh, very aged grape turning to sodas or let's say wine, very red sort of a uh, nice wine yeah it does have that that's why i guess it's the bottle they designed so i don't know how many people actually mention it but i do get it so it does have the wine feel wine is not really it's sweet but at the same time uh, the smell of wine is like red wine it's it's people who smelled wine they can tell so thing is it does have all those aspects of it in one fragrance and it does have that rose feel the floral they have a lot of big galbanum this and that 
so I, I, I'm not going to talk about all those floral notes because half of them I don't know what they are. But it does have in the base, vetiver, cedar, and I think there is a sage. Is it clary sage? I'm not sure. There's a peppery kick to it. So look at it's a, the depth of it. Look at the notes breakdown. It's a very complex scent. And it's great for winter time because in the heat it will really choke you and kill you. It has that furry effect. You know, it's like fur. Uh, so it's like when you're wearing overcoat, it's cold and you're wearing smell masculine. Like a barbershop feel, it has that as well. But not as powdery as many other barbershop scents. So thing is, the smell of it, the opening, I think it find it, many people will find it like love it or hate it right in the beginning. But give it some time, it might work for you. It's very masculine, it's very nice. Good things about it, it has, does have last, good lasting power on it. It's very long lasting fragrance, even after reformulation. I got like from it, like five, six hours from it on the skin. Um, how many sprays you you don't have to put a lot of it but i say two or three maximum three would be just great one on your chest put on your shirt okay one on your neck side of your neck and maybe one uh, on the shirt somewhere on the shirt so the thing is like it will, it will have a like a nice combination or you can go on your hair as well um the occasion for it uh, i think it would be great for those cold nights out you just had dinner and you're just coming out with a bunch of friends or your missus or you just go into the car you just bring your arm around you and you sniff it, it really like warms you up gives you the feel that masculinity you know it's not metrosexual so people who are looking for sweet citrusy metrosexual clubbing sort of like eros or uh, invictus this is not for them this is for people with uh, accurate taste they have more seriousness they want some more depth darkness there's a darkness about it green darkness about it so yes all in that in one bottle and it's a very love it or hate it i'm not gonna say you must buy it no way you can try it and it's very uh it's it's like even i would say compared to this like uh kuros is easier wear <laughs> so yes for the smell of it from my to my nose i'm gonna give this like a 7.5 longevity it's very good 8.5 to 9 pushing it like projection wise it projects also nicely for two hours and after that it comes close to the skin and you get to enjoy it a lot uh, compliments today's modern world I'll be frank you shouldn't expect compliments this is something you wear for yourself if you are a, the person that you read books and library and you do have old tobacco pipes and stuff you do that you live by you like to stay by yourself you have a cat and your cat doesn't speak much it's like a grumpy cat <laughs> yes but I'm not saying those are bad things those are people who stay by themselves a bit weird but it has very nice uh, sort of the 60s 70s era so it's not a like to say that it, it, it's a must-have in anyone's collection but for collectors this is a good collector site I'm telling you this is one of those iconic fragrances the bottle wise smell wise it will remind remind you of Sinatra maybe also okay Frank Sinatra so music jazz you know those gangsters they wear the hat like a little bit tilted you know like uh, long overcoats they have a gun those uh, old days cops you know, they talk like proper English. Yes, great flannel is for those people. So overall remark, what I'm gonna give this for what it is, okay? I'm gonna give this, I'd say eight out of 10. Why? Because the performance is good. I like powerhouses and it's a good classic. It's a nice presentation. And it, it does bring back those good memories, good old memories of good days, of good movies and stuff. And I wouldn't recommend this to teenagers or youngsters. This is not young stuff this is very mature nose all right you're gonna get compliments from mature crowd maybe ladies or gents all right so that's my review for grape nano do let me know what you think of this reformulated version i really like it but i don't get to wear it every time i'm wearing i'm gonna wear this in the winter time all right and i think it will make a good winter scent for sure okay so take care guys i'll talk to you soon thanks for watching thanks for supporting all the time and i'll talk to you soon have a nice day Bye bye